an artificial intelligence system that can do things by itself an autonomous ai seems to be of interest for a lot of people in the same regard we have got a new open source project called baby agi agi stands for artificial general intelligence and this project baby agi tries to bring a very minimal version of an autonomous ai which means if you just specify a task this ai can solve the task it can create a new task and then it can reprioritize the task and it can solve again the task so it is operating in an autonomous mode without having a human being exactly telling it what to do except setting a goal about what it should do so all you have to do is set a goal and then the ai can do everything by itself so right now this project is called baby agi and in this video i am going to show you everything about baby agi even though this is nowhere closer to agi i'm quite interested in the architecture in itself and that's why i wanted to make this video let's get started with the video this project is from yohi nakajima so now what is this project baby agi it's a smaller down pared down version of something that is called task driven autonomous agent now what is this task driven autonomous agent so it's simple there are three task agents one is an execution agent second is a creation agent and third is a prioritization agent so this baby agi is a combination of three agents execution agent creation agent and prioritization agent for us to completely understand what this is doing let's first quickly look at a demo that this project has got so this is the demo so you have to first specify what is the objective the objective here says solve the ai alignment so the objective is solve the ai alignment and the task list is build your own task list so now it's going to build its own task list if you play the video you can actually see that ai is building its own task list and then it is trying to solve the task as well based on each task so right now this is not connected to any system like zapier or any other external system but imagine like you have got a system and you have to give ai an instruction saying that i want all the information about something let's say a new movie so this system this baby agi can be actually used to create the set of task what it requires to get all the information about that new movie let's say john wick so how does this baby agi can come up with all the list to get all the information about baby agi and then it itself will prioritize out of the list which one it should pick and then it can execute those list and then come back to you and that is exactly this architecture is this mind blowing architecture actually i really like the architecture and i wanted to make this video only because this architecture looked really beautiful for me so what is this system called this is a task driven task driven autonomous agent utilizing gpt4 pinecone langchain as you know gpt4 is the main brain behind it pinecone is to store the vector like the task list and the results and langchain is to make these connections now how does this system look like the system looks like this you have got a central memory and you have got an execution agent you have got a creation agent and you have got a prioritization agent so first there is the task is stored in the memory so the execution agent uh, can talk to the memory and then see the task and do the task once the task is executed the task result is sent to the creation agent who can now add new tasks in the memory or it can take the memory task from from memory it can take and then it can execute more so now it can add new tasks to the task queue and then the task prioritization agent can actually prioritize and clean up the existing task and then it again goes back to execution agent so this is a, a very simple chart that represents how it works you can definitely read this article very surprisingly this article was also written by gpt4 from the code base the developer has created or the author has created so once again if you want a very linear workflow you can actually have a look at this so what does it say so the user comes inside and then user provides a task so i'm going to go and then say i want all the information about john wick so that's the task that i'm going to give and then it goes to the task queue and from there it branches out so first the task goes to the execution agent to complete the task the execution agent then sends the result to the creation agent the creation agent based on the result based on the output sends new tasks to the task queue and the prioritization agent actually prioritizes the task then cleans up the task add new tasks and then whatever the result is it always goes back to the memory so this is the system that whatever we have like conceptually called as the task driven autonomous agent task driven autonomous agent or task driven automated 
autonomous ai and this has been created like i said by yohi nakajima i hope i pronouncing the name correctly sorry yohi if i'm not pronouncing it wrong um if you see the system this is a fabulous system and like i said even though this is a very uh, primitive system at this point the fact that this system exists and this kind of architecture exists i think this can give idea to a lot of people about creating these kind of agents so what we have been seeing very recently is that people are trying to pair up gpt4 with a lot of external system and people have realized that this can give a superpower that gpt4 does not have alone and exactly that is exactly what openai has also started doing it instead of improving gpt4 massively they introduce the plugin ecosystem which is like more like an app store where you can have these plugins talk to gpt4 or gpt4 talk to these plugins thereby connecting to the external world a set of like in, um, external connectors and then get information and that is exactly what these kind of autonomous agents do while having very minimal human intervention now let's see the code the code is quite nice and also simple it's um, it's technically if you see the code baby agi.py so it's a 138 line code at this point and when you see the code you can see the there are very less number of requirements you have got you need open ai to use gpt4 uh, api key pine cone again for storage um, and uh, most importantly then you have all this uh, additional like libraries that ensures that the code is correct what do you need to do if you need to access this code or run this code on your local machine you need pinecone api key pinecode um, so you need an account in pinecone you need an account in openai get the api keys and enter it and then go ahead and then set the objective you need to set the objective of course you need to set the table name if you want and then set the objective what objective that you want to do and you need to give the first task like you can actually say develop a task list that could be the first task or you could mention any other task like i said like i want all the information about john wick could be my objective and then you can say develop your own task and then it it's going to start working out just like this and when you see uh, it has very detailed information about how this entire thing works what works where does it go where does it talk to and also it has all the information about how you can run this entire code first thing you need to do is clone the repository if you want and then add all the required libraries using requirements.txt and set up your open ai and pinecone api keys then set up your pinecone environment as an environment variable again give the name of the table where the information should be stored add the objective and also add the first task and then run the script this is going to invoke a, a baby aj i don't I, I don't i don't want to call it baby aj but that's the name of this like i said it's not it's not agi it's not artificial general intelligence at this point but i would very much say that this is an autonomous ai and uh, looks like a lot of people are trying to build autonomous ai system that can that can have minimal human intervention and that can actually take us quite forward in the direction how um, how we can execute ai with only one instruction rather than having multiple codes doing multiple things so you can still use instead of gpt4 you can also use text davinci 003 and you can see how it works again just to quickly show you the demo the first thing is you need to give the objective which you have set in the environment variable once you have the objective it is going to build the task and then it is going to start trying to do one by one like it's going to try to do one by one and then once it finishes um it's going to have all the information that you want so right now it is not talking to any other system but because you have got lang chain you can uh, it can explore like you know how can it talk to a search engine how can it talk to let's say a zapier how can it talk to other systems i think this could be really powerful and the architecture in itself is really good so i will link all the required links in the youtube description let me know what do you think about this concept of autonomous ai or ai autopilot that we have been discussing quite recently and i think this is an interesting very interesting project and a very interesting architecture about how to look forward to having build how to build an ai system that can be quite autonomous in fact using just gpt 3.5 or gpt 4 api without like having a sophisticated ai system so see you in the next video happy prompting